to deploy your view app to github pages um so for this um this is the application itself it's deployed it's uh, running locally here on localhost 8080 and i've uploaded it to github i've synced it up to github um the view documentation actually gives us everything we need in a sense it does assume a certain level of knowledge already and there are a couple of gaps well let's get through those okay so that's what this video plans to do so um first thing first is you need a view.config.js file in the root of your of your um, application and this is these this is the contents of it so we'll copy and paste that in it's okay to copy and paste in this case <laughs> so here we go view.config.js uh, we do need to change something in here let's change my project to so the name of my repo which is view-gh-pages so this is the path that my application will be deployed to on my github account and it's in there in the uh, comments of that if you are deploying to username blah 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 all of that there okay so now we've done that now that's that part done on to part two another copy and paste job And it's a deploy.sh file. We're going to save this one first and then we'll create a deploy.sh file. Uh, where are we? Okay, John. File. Oh, what the? Okay, deploy.sh. Sorry, it's a little early here. <coughs> right, now the comments in here are quite inform. Are, well, I wouldn't say they're quite informative, but they definitely are more informative than the other, the previous one. Uh, we'll save it first. And if you were deploying to HTTPS username.github.io, you do this. And if you are deploying to get HTTPS username.github slash repo, you do that. So we're doing to the slash repo one. So let's uncomment that line there. My username is jjmax75. And my repo is uh, view-gh-pages. Oh, oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that I've, that's that. Now I, as I mentioned, I've already. So that's it. There, the, that's the view documentation. It kind of leaves a. There's a couple of more steps that need to be done. Um, right. So I've I've already um, set up this a uh, repo. I've got that running locally as well. Let's let's kill the application and have a look. Ls or git status. So there we are showing those two files. We can actually add those now. Git add. There's no harm. Um, commit minus m view deploy files. So that's all. I'm just I'm pushing that straight up to my master branch again. This is just a demo. So if you wanted to do it some other way, you can. Okay, now let's have a look at um, the first step we need to do. Right, let's go in here and create. Okay, I get on pages. Uh, page. So we're gonna. Ah, well, actually no. We need to do this. The other thing. The other bit first. Okay let's um, deploy that so i'm using a mac and linux now the steps for this i'm not sure in windows but it's something similar what i need to do is make my uh where is it my deploy.sh file executable so at the moment it isn't there's no x so let's go chmod plus X deployed on SH, there I've already done it before. Less minus L. Let's have a look again. And we'll now see if we have that. We can execute that. So to execute the file in that space, it's just to run the file in the command line. We use dot slash deploy. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and our view so basically our view application is going to build all the files in it are going to get transpiled compiled uh, into the distribution folder and then that's going to get pushed up to the gh pages branch so before we go any further let's have a look on here Uh, what have we got now? What I'm looking for, see, it's created a GH Pages branch, which means when I go back to settings, ah, scroll down, it's now deployed, and there we have the address of it. Your site is published at. Let's have a look. Okay, there's my application. Brilliant. Um, yeah, the, the reason for this video is that the, the uh, making the deploy file executable isn't um, necessarily intuitive um, especially for beginners so if this is uh, this has helped you comment below and let me know thank you